Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of the Super Mario Land 2 Six Golden Coins Randomizer League. Today's race, we're going to be featuring Slash Empty, creator of the randomizer himself, versus Yoko21. Both of these runners, very strong runners. We're going to be seeing, uh, who knows, because it's randomized. So, yeah. A little bit about the randomizer. What is going to be randomized is uh, essentially all the levels. Uh, inside of the levels, uh, the enemies can be randomized. They'll be swapped within, typically within the areas themselves. Uh, so we can see all kinds of crazy stuff. Uh, enemies moving at different spots. Uh, different enemies in different spots. In addition to that, the exits in uh, levels that have two exits are uh, also randomized. So that normal exit can be the secret exit. That secret exit could be the normal exit. And you never know what's going to happen. The boss levels are also randomized. So let's say if you go to Star World, the secret exit could be the boss level, as well as the bosses in the levels themselves. So if I try to defeat the tree zone, I might fight the witch. You never know what's going to happen. <clears throat> so I... I'm Serberoth, and with me today is Shades. How are you, man? Doing fantastic, Serberoth. Looking forward to another amazing race here. Should be a lot of fun. And it looks I... like we're just waiting on our last... Uh, just, it looks like we're just about ready to go here. We're just going to have to quit the bot. So, yeah, give it about 15 seconds. We should be good to go. Yeah, this is I, this is going to be a really, really good race. These are these are some some pretty strong runners. Uh, and actually I'm... hold that thought for a second. Ladies and gentlemen, we are getting the signal right now. So ladies and gentlemen of the Mushroom Kingdom, I have one question for you at this time. Are you ready for some rando? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I can't be any more excited than that. <laughs> That's what I do best, my friend. I'm here to bring the hype. Oh, well, it, it is brought. It is absolutely brought. And we, the last race I saw, had a very nasty level for this first level, uh, and this one does not seem to be so so bad. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention the items in the question mark box are also randomized. Uh, this one, this one's gonna get a lot of lag. <sighs> yeah, unfortunately, we'll see how these guys play out here. Oh, and already Yoko taking some damage there. You don't you want to hold on to those uh, bunny ears as long as you can because they can speed you through a lot of levels fast. Yeah, there was a money bags there for Slash. Not what he wanted to see. One other thing uh, that I also didn't mention about what's randomized is the physics. There's full-on moon physics, uh, like partial moon physics that allows you to jump, which is exactly what uh, these runners are experiencing in this level. It's It slows Mario down a little bit. And then there's the normal physics. Uh, so you never know what you're going to get. The two moon physics are typically encountered um, in the uh, space zone. Space zone 1 and space zone 2 uh, for real good examples of those. But it looks like both of our runners here going to the right over to the tree zone first. Makes sense. Usually a pretty good quiz. Easy to get to, fat, you know, quick to get to. Yep. Got the hunted, got, the, got ourselves the beehive here for this level. Yeah. And as you mentioned with the space physics, there's there's the difference between the space physics and the full-on moon physics. Space yeah. physics only give you a slightly slower, longer jump, whereas yep. full-on moon physics, you could literally float in the air like you're underwater, and it's yep. probably the preferred. If you're going to get one of the two, you want to get that one. 
Yeah, absolutely. Oh, uh, Yoko taking an unfortunate death there. Well, meanwhile, Slash picking up the midway bell. That will, if he does die at this point in time, he'll be able to recover right from that point, which is very nice. There is another bell at the end of each level, and that is the bonus bell. Uh, they might use that if they want to power up a little bit later on. You can see it on Slash's screen right there. Yeah, if, if they're not needing power-ups, they're going to try their best to skip that. Ooh, we've got uh, one of the space levels here for Slash. But yeah, yeah you want to avoid that bell if you don't need the power-up because it's a waste of time. But if you need a power-up to prepare for the next level, knowing what's coming up ahead, it might yep. be a decent idea to stop by and pick up one of those. Absolutely. Absolutely. There's also the Overworld uh, bonus game. Uh, we have seen that in previous runs where or of the league here. Where runners just, you know, they needed a power up uh, and uh, they went and got one from there. Um, we also saw some, one one of the runners, I think, well, the last race that I did, they went and uh, got extra lives from the overworld bonus game. Now, that one does take coins. Um, so our runners are going to be collecting coins. In addition, one other thing that we see down at the bottom is the enemy counter. Um, so the game is actually tracking how many enemies they defeat, and after they defeat 100, they'll get a bonus invincibility star. Uh, we've seen runners try to try to uh, manipulate that a little bit so they get 100 enemies right there on the third floor of Wario's castle so they can get a bon uh, that star to run right through the Wario faces that are there. Make that a lot easier. Yeah, unfortunately... Uh... Looks like Yoko's going to head to the Hippo, which is one of the uh, uh, Haunted House levels. And unfortunately, yeah. took an early death there. Yeah, these levels are... are uh, they're, they're just chock full of enemies uh, in normally. And now, like, yeah, you can see there's there's a, a one of the fish in there. That's not normally there. And the booze and whatnot that can be just placed all over the place in, in these various levels. Because, like, just, you know, how about that umbrella just floating in there? Again, not a normal thing that's there. But that's randomizer, folks. Yep, all the enemies are randomized around here. But he's making his way through. He got an invincibility star. That's so going to help him a little bit here as he gets through. Yeah. Finds another one. Can yeah. keep that run going. Yeah, that's, that's kind of nice. There's a carrot for him. Unfortunately, small, he can't pick up that carrot because he does need to be big to, to uh, spin jump. Getting the one up there. That's a little bit nice. Oh, and Slash is on the whale level. Oh, man, this level is, is a nasty, nasty level. Yeah, thankfully, it's normal physics. Though This is one of those levels you really do not want space physics on. Nope. So thankfully, with normal physics, he shouldn't have too much trouble. He just has to be very careful going yeah, through. Yeah, exactly. As... Yoko makes his way through the hippo, and he is heading up. Yeah, having space physics on that level would be a bit of a nightmare. Now Yoko working his way through. He's got found uh, tree, one of the tree zone levels. And I think we've got moon physics on this one. Yeah, as he's falling really, really slowly. All right, slash to the first to the first boss first, and it is in fact the bird for the tree zone. Is this even randomized? Yeah, <laughs> he gets through it very quickly. Gets his first coin. Yeah, now it will show uh, a different coin here. Uh, yeah, it is the turtle coin, but slash in fact does have the tree zone coin. So when we track yeah, that, ne go ahead. That's why we're going to be tracking that, yeah, as you were saying. And what what it will happen is the next time we see the door, you will see that the tree zone coin is uh, in the proper place. So that will change next time we see it. Yeah. Also, if they went to Wario's castle, which they won't be doing because that's slow, um, we would see that the correct door, the coin is highlighted. Meanwhile, Yoko not really taking advantage of those moon physics here on this level, just kind of making his way through normally, which I kind of question. I mean, in some spots I can understand, like here, yeah. but some of those spots you could just use the moon physics to jump over half those obstacles. I mean, you're going to go slow no matter what. You might as well take advantage of it. 
Yeah, I mean, he might be um, concerned about what's coming up, but uh, I don't know. He does have a Fire Flower now, so that's going to make, uh, well, most everything a lot easier. Is yep, he going to go for the secret exit? Yeah, he I is. I think he is. Yeah, that's this is nice. our first this, gamble. Yeah, this secret actually actually requires uh, you to have the fire flower. No other way to break those two blocks at the top. And it looks like it put him on the lower path, which is actually not the way he wanted to go. You, you probably should have. You would have wanted. You should have wanted to take the lower, the regular exit, because that would have taken him to the upper path, which mm -hmm. would have been one level sh less to deal with. Unfortunately, that did not work out for him, so he's gonna have to take the long way around. Yeah, he does have full-on moon physics here, though. That's always nice to have. Like I said, so you can see, he's going to have to go slow no matter what, so I might as well take advantage of it. Just float your way across, avoid all those obstacles. Yep. It's so easy to do. Yeah. Unfortunately, takes a hit from that bullet bill. We're getting a lot of clown boxes here. I didn't even see that the last race I comped. Yeah. Yeah, those things will just jump right at you, too. Slash now making his way into Macro 1, which we know is tree is one of the tree zone levels. Yep. Let's see if he decides to take the normal X or if he decides to follow suit and take the, tupper, uh, take the lower path. Yeah, I think if he has the Fire Flower at that point in time, I think he's going to do it. He's going to try... Uh, to go for the secret exit. If he doesn't, he'll go for the normal uh, the normal exit. Yoko making his way through. He gets his way to the goal here. On to Macro 3. And it's one of the Mario Zone levels. Yeah. This one looks like it has normal physics this time. Having that Fire Flower, we'll be able to make this uh, a nice and easy level for him. Yeah, you can see the moon physics still slow Mario down. And it's on Slash the Screen, he's not able to run at full speed. You get that, like, floatiness. Yeah, that's the trade-off. Yeah, it does slow you down a bit. But it slows both the runners down, so it's not a com total loss. Oh, yeah. You're both going to have to suffer for it. But it also means he can avoid a lot of obstacles, like I mentioned earlier. And you can see just how easily ha not having those moon physics can be a troublesome for uh, Yoko as he finishes up here in Macro 3. And he's on his way to the Macro boss. Yeah. And, yeah, here it is. Slash going for the, the secret exit. Uh, he had the Fire Flower. And there it is. He's going to go for the secret exit. So it's not going to pay off for him. Uh, like just like it did not for Yoko. Also, look at this Yoko in Space Zone Two with the correct physics. This is uh, pretty atypical for randomizer. Hey, you're not gonna complain. This is the one level oh, you need those moon yeah. physics. This is the one you wanted on them for sure. Otherwise, if this does not have uh, this this moon physics on it, this um, then you do have to take uh, intentional damage uh, at certain points in this level. So you you would a power up would be required. Yeah, which also means you'd probably you know if you can't find one along the way, you'd have to go back to a previous level and look power up first. Yeah, or maybe find that bonus stage you were talking about earlier. Yep. Yeah. What we've seen uh, runners typically do is is go somewhere else and make some progression somewhere else, and then come back when they have the power up. Makes uh, sense. Yeah. But thankfully, it looks like Yoko not having too much trouble here since he does have those moon physics in play. Yep. And then, of course, we have the boss right after the words. Kind of wish mm -hmm. I could hear what music if we got the star song playing. Because you got to have the star song. That is the best song in the game. <laughs> Dang right. He's got to be extra careful here. He's got no power-ups right now. And, unfortunately, the coin blocks are not helping him. And he does. you, you want to at least have something going into the boss fight, just in case you have to fight a rather tough boss. Yeah. Checking all these coin blocks. 
Oh, Fire Flower right there. He's just going to get past that Pufferfish. He's not going to be able to get no. it. He's going to have to go into the boss room with no power up. Yeah, and he did get the Midway Bell, so that means that power up's going to be behind him. Oh. oh! He missed that one, too. That one that one was perfect. So if he does die, though, he'll be able to come and get that one. Uh, this one, I don't... Oh, Ooh, that. That's a that Fire Flower, which is just in time because he's facing the rat. Yeah, this one with the fireball, uh, the firepower should be really easy. He missed a quick kill there, but nah, he gets gets he's the jump on the second. Pretty good thing. kill on that one. Yeah. Yeah. So that gets point number. He gets him his first coin. So he's yeah. gonna get the macro coin. It's interesting, yeah, both of our runners have skipped over the space zone for the time being. Well, they went to the Hippo. I don't know why they... It kind of took them away from the space zone, from what I could tell. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think they liked the, 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 the fact that the pumpkin zone level was there. Nonetheless, both of our runners are Yoko now in the... Uh... Pumpkin zone 1, actually. Pumpkin this zone. Pumpkin zone 1. Yeah, pumpkin zone. And I think this was actually the pumpkin zone he went into too. So again, yeah. is this even randomized? Yeah. Or this, you know what? This this might be pumpkin zone too, but it doesn't really matter. It's definitely pumpkin zone. That's for sure. The level yeah. is definitely. This is this is the level that you see. Uh, anyone who does the any percent uh, for this run, uh, they'll uh, they'll beat this level, come back in, it, and then they'll uh, pause and select out of it. Uh, to basically drop through the th through the floor uh, while entering the pipe. So this is. And I forget if you have to beat the first level in the pumpkin zone or not. Slash would know. Speaking of slash, he's speaking of slash. He's working his way through the level now. Yoko having a little bit of trouble there. Yeah. I mean, this is this is not an easy level uh, to begin with, and like all these different enemies, uh, you know, they're 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 moving in different ways as they come through. There's a lot more. There's been a lot more of those bat kids, um, which are typically only at the end of the level, and uh, they're throwing bats and creating lag, and you know, that's that's not that's not what he wants. Oh, look at this, the submarine level. Oh no, the infamous submarine level. I've seen how torturous this one is. I feel yeah. so bad for Yoko right now. Yeah, this level is not easy. The, the and the big question here is will he take the secret exit? Um he is small, but he is gonna have to go through that gauntlet. And I have seen that gauntlet cows count uh, cost many a runners. Yeah, having to deal yep. with that, or depending on what the enemy layout is in there. The last race I called for this, oh my, that that was torture. Yeah, and it looks like Slash now gets his uh, macro zone coin. Oh. Yeah, this level uh, for for anyone new to playing this game it is incredibly confusing. Yeah, that's what it was. Slash wanted that that power up to get through the rest of this pumpkin zone level, uh, to get over to the space zone. So I don't blame him. That looks like Yoko's heading over to the the Mario zone. I wonder what the thought process between that for, uh, that is. I think I think it's a uh, he he realizes that going through the submarine is going to be really difficult. So he's going to come yeah. back to that later. Meanwhile, he's going to head into space. You got a space zone here. And it looks like he's got regular space physics. Yeah. So you've got to be very careful with those jumps. Oh, look at this with the boo right there at the end. Slash being very careful so he could spin jump. He did need to be big there in order to open up that pipe to get to the secret exit. And that was the exit he needed. Otherwise, if he had taken the other exit, it would have taken him over to the macro zone, which he has already beaten. Yep, and so now he's got the secret exit, and he's in space zone, which is also one of the turtle zone levels. 
Now, this is actually, I think, one of the tree zone levels. This is I always the, get these mixed yeah. up because of those... Uh, the the jelly the sap. thing, yeah. The sap, yeah. yeah. Sap always throws me off. Oh, that's all right. Ooh, nice fire, fire flower there for uh, uh, Slash. Indeed, that will come in handy. Yeah. And thankfully, Yoko's on one of the easier levels here. This Look at this one the, of the tree. No, starter this is level, the is first it? level. This is the starter level. <laughs> This is yeah. definitely a level he wants to see. Yeah, you're always going to be happy to run this. Yeah, this is normally the uh, house level. And there's that secret exit for Slash, taking him to the proper uh, boss level. And yeah, this looks like exactly where Slash wants to be. Now he's gonna he's gonna probably this has normal physics so he's gonna use uh, what's called a super jump here a couple of times um, in order to, to get himself some extra height and basically shortcut a lot of this level. He's uh, he's basically gonna run and uh, let go of jump at a at a certain time in in the height of his jump and that will uh, uh, gain him a little bit of extra height. Uh, and it'll get him up to some platforms here coming up. Our runners have been making use of that already. Whenever they can, which is whenever they don't have space physics. Yeah, Yoko, oh, Slash now finds the witch. You're in space zone. Yeah, the witch can certainly be one of the more annoying bosses uh, if you don't get the uh, normal physics on her. So I'm sure Slash is kind of uh, happy to see her uh, right here and now. Yeah, it's always good timing on that one. Yeah. And very nice quick kill there for Slash. And that gives him the space going coin. Three down, three to go. Yep. Yeah, Yoko making very good progress here through uh, this, what would actually be one of the regular Mario Zone levels. And finds Tatanga. Ah, uh, good old Tatanga. Of, yeah, the boss of Super Mario Land 1. Just uh, stuck yeah, so in here in the Space Zone. A boss so memorable, this is the only other appearance he ever made. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> And unfortunately, uh, he takes out Yoko. Yoko not just having no luck with that one. Yeah. The, yeah. So, he, Yoko having normal physics there, uh, he does kind of have to sit at the bottom. Yeah, there's there's the lag on Slash's screen with all these bat kids. You can see them. Uh, so, yeah, he just kind of has to sit at the bottom and wait for Tatanga to kind of uh, fly underneath of him. Meanwhile, Tatanga's going to be shooting that, like, crescent moon and whatever the orb thing is and it's yeah he's got to time it right to be able to just jump up and and bonk him on the head oh just missed his mark yeah his hitbox is a little weird from behind so yoko got got caught by that unfortunately he got caught by the side instead of uh, the top where he wanted to be and there we see slash taking the bonus bell here uh, well, he's probably going to jam to get this carrot. Um, this bonus game is 100% uh, manipulatable if you just get it and you just jam the button right away. You can, you can always get that carrot. Alright, nice. Nice one hit there for Yoko. Yep, just gonna try to see if he can, see if he can get all three this time. There's two. Yes. Oh, no. All right. And coming down, can he get more. three? He can get yes. three! Nice job there for Yoko. That gives him the uh, pumpkin coin, I believe. No, no, uh, Mario coin. Yeah, that gives him the Mario coin. And this, look at the slash going through here to get the secret exit using the bunny hop. Basically, what he did there was he ran through uh, and was small and held left and jump the entire time. Uh, and that just kind of pushed him through uh, that uh, space where he you're only supposed to be small Mario to make it through there.
So now he gets the secret exit, and let's see if this takes him to the boss uh, the, the level that he wants. Nope. And so we get a little bit of a reset there for him, and he's going to come back in. That's not the level that he wanted to see. So he's going to have to come back and defeat this uh, uh, submarine level the normal way. Unfortunately, all that work and didn't even pay off. Yeah, I mean, it's worth it, though, uh, because if that does turn out to be the boss level there, you're only defeating two levels and then the boss, and you're you're getting to the to the coin uh, really quickly. So uh, it's it's definitely worth the check. Uh, we'll see. There's one more secret level at the at the final level here for the pumpkin zone. Um, so we'll see if he goes and oh, that shark just getting him. Um, that shark Yoko, is very poorly placed. Yeah, Yoko in an auto scroller right now, just mashing the bunny ears to fly through it. Right. It's like Yoko's contemplating whether he's going to go on or not. There he goes. Yeah. Probably not uh, not too terrible. Getting the hippo level here with normal physics, that means the bubble is going to operate as normal and basically give him the uh, space, the full-on moon physics. As long as he holds onto the bubble, he could just fly right through this level. Very nice and easy for him. Uh, and that's yeah. kind of, yeah, definitely something I think he's been looking for. He's been having some some trouble with some of the other levels and just moving on to wherever yeah, he definitely thinks he can make progress. Yeah, he definitely needs to do some catch-up here. He's a whole coin behind. Yeah. And that could catch up real fast if you're not careful. Thankfully, though, there's still plenty of time to catch up. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Now, we're not done until somebody has six coins and in and is in Wario's castle with him down. So, yeah. Unfortunately, he took the wrong exit. He took the secret exit and turned out to lead to the secret level. He's actually going to run it. Yeah. Interesting. This is uh, this is not. Uh, yeah, I this think, isn't. I think he was trying to get a. He was getting a power up. Is what he's trying to do. Yeah, he can't. Uh, he cannot do that um, and retain the power up because he's not uh, actually defeated this level. So he needs to defeat this level. And this is not a boss level. So this is not really where he wants to be. This is just kind of time loss for him. Yeah, and the time he does not need to lose. So this is actually going to be. Pretty painful for him. Yeah. All right, Slash getting that bonus bell uh, here in the submarine level, so we're going to see him pick up another... another. Oh, no, this this is not the bonus game he wanted. No, he, but oh, it's going to get the power-up he's looking for. You got, he's yeah. got, the, you got the carrot. Yeah, he that is that is absolutely very lucky. This is not the bonus... That is the, the other bonus game that you can get there. And... Uh, not not what he wanted to say, but he he. I think he he's happy with uh, the turn the the uh, turnout. Yeah, he got lucky there. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now he is actually on the witch's level. So um, this is this is right where he wants to be. Now Yoko finishing up that secret stage, going to head back in. Yeah, make his way over to try to get to the regular exit so that he can get. To the boss stage. Yeah, he does have his power up, uh, which is nice. So, I think, uh, yeah. Slash taking the secret exit there. And takes yeah. him right to the boss in the pumpkin zone. Oh, it's the macro zone boss level. Yep. Yeah. But uh, we don't know what boss he's going to face. Ooh, lost his bu bunny ears, but immediately picked up a fire fire. Oh, and he oh. loses into the spikes. Yeah, right into the spikes. All right, this is this is where this is where uh, Yoko wants to be. And now he is on. Oh boy, Those pumpkin headless. zone boss. Yeah, the, the the pumpkin zone boss level. Yeah. This, uh, uh, those, those fine fish or, or jumping headless fish things, man, they are really annoying. That, that star, though, right away is, is, is kind of nice for him, though. That helped him get through a lot of that, basically. Yeah, slash out man. fighting on the boss. We've got the octopus. Mm-hmm. Normally of the Very turtle zone. Very quick flight there. Yeah. Yep. Very quick flight, though. 
Yeah, I mean that's that's what we would expect from Slash. I mean, he is he has really good he has a really decent time on in, in this game. And this is this is his bread and butter. He's proving it right here. Getting his yep. fourth coin now, finishing up pumpkin zone. All he's got left is the is the Mario zone and the turtle zone. He's going yeah. around. That's basically what he's doing. Yeah, and we're dead. Yeah, and he's gonna go to Mario Zone first, like we see, and then finish up with Turtle Zone. Turtle Zone being the quickest zone. Uh, you know, it's just just kind of three levels, uh, unless you take unless you take the secret. Um, oh, look at this, Yoko. Yoko, Yoko. You know, yep, yeah, <laughs> we're trying, to, can't, trying not to talk over you there. Uh, sorry, man. But go ahead, Yoko, Yoko, working on the three little pigs here, which I believe yeah. is the Mario Zone boss. That's right. Doing pretty good here so far. No, with regular physics, it can be a little tricky. I've seen it. It's easy. I think it's. I don't know if it's easier or harder with moon with moon physics, but I've seen it done. Yeah. I but very quick fight, nicely done by Yoko. I think it's a little bit harder because the chiming on your jumps is uh, is offset just just enough that like you're because you're a little bit slower when you when you jump up off that. Day. So you gotta jump ahead. You gotta really kind of know. Now that gives him the turtle zone coin. So that puts him just, you know, one coin behind Slash. And he has some progress on some of these other uh, zones. So we'll see. Looks like he's going to head back to Pumpkin Zone now. Well, hopefully, hopefully he can catch up here. And also, I think we had, got a call for a star song. I don't know if we heard it or not. But mm -hmm. nonetheless, Slash picking up, going through the starter stage. And my, and uh, since we've seen both these levels already before, this is where I got to take this opportunity to remind you folks, if you're enjoying both of our runners, make sure you give Slash Infinity and Yoko21 a follow on Twitch. They're racing hard for your entertainment, so show them some love, folks. Absolutely. Yeah, and this is the kind of level that Slash wants to see at the end of the game. This easy, easy level right here. He's basically done with most everything. Mario Zone and Turtle Zone left, and like that that's the level he wants to see. Also, we didn't notice this before, but Mario's Zone boss is, for, is vanilla. Again, yes. is this randomized? This is like the third time now. I gotta call out our restreamer, Wolfman. You're the one that ran. You're, you're the one that rolled this seed. What the heck, man? <laughs> oh, that's all right. Technically, you know, the vanilla game is still a, a valid random se randomized random sequence, so. True, this it, this isn't like uh, other randomizers where everything is super random, so seeing a vanilla thing is that bitch of a disparage. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. Where it's, it's, yeah, there's not like 216 things in this uh, this game to randomize. So, ooh, Slash getting nice quick two hits on Tatanga there. Nice double there. Yeah. And gets the triple, gets the third one right away. Very nice quick fight. That yeah. gives him the, gives him his Mario coin. All that's left is one more zone. Yeah, and the turtle zone, definitely the fastest zone. It has the, has the fewest levels. So this is this is right where he wants to be. And then after that, it's going to be off to uh, Wario's castle. And we're going to see because there are things that are randomized in the castle, um, such as the uh, fireballs that the flowers can uh, can shoot out. They they can shoot out. Even the small ones can shoot out big fire uh, fireballs, which can be really annoying. It actually does not give you space to stand on the uh, the, the, the uh, fire flower statue. Yeah, when it action. comes to that, when it comes to the last level, that's the one place you definitely do not want space physics. You want moon or you want regular. Yeah, yeah, that's and, true too. And I mean, yeah. Also, just because Slash has got a good lead, do not count Yoko out yet. Wario's Castle is an equalizer. I've seen it. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Especially if you get those aforementioned uh, space physics. Yeah, that'll get plenty of time for Yoko to catch up, and then it's anybody's race. But we'll see how that comes into play when we get there. For now, both of our runners finishing up their respective levels. Yeah, slashing that auto-scroller we saw Yoko do earlier. 
just gonna have to wait to get through this one. Making use of the bunny ears, though, just mashing both of them, mashing through through with the bunny ears. They can, if they mash the jump button, they can actually maintain their height, and that's uh, it's exactly what we see them doing. All right. So now Slash working his way through the uh, through the hippo level. He's probably going to end up doing the same mistake that Yoko did and going sh and taking the secret exit. You know that's going to come back to haunt him later. Yeah, maybe. Um, I I think runners usually go for the the uh, the normal exit, but um, yeah, here it is. He's going for that that secret exit. That's that's not what he's going to want. So that means he's gonna he's gonna reset here, and he will lose his bunny ears. Um, cause he's not gonna, yeah, there it is. Oof. Gonna cost him a little bit, but not too much. Yeah. Thankfully. He's still gonna end up saving time in the long run since he didn't actually complete the level, unlike Yoko, who actually ran it. Yeah. Yeah, but Yoko wanted that power-up desperately, and I, I, I don't blame him. That, that power-up, uh, enabled him to, to get through the, uh, the next level, so... Here is now he's fighting the octopus. This will give him the pumpkin zone, Colleen. Thankfully, he's got that fire flower. It makes it a very quick fight. Yeah. He needs to catch up, so that's going to be really helpful. Yeah, real good for him. Yeah, so Yoko now having four coins, uh, even though it looked like he just got the same coin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's uh, the one glitch with the randomizer that the developers have tried to fix, but there's really not much they can do. And to be fair, it fixes itself later on, so it's not a huge deal. It's just a, gra a graphical thing. Uh, when the coin, uh, you know, kind of flies out and and goes to the to the uh, to the door, so you know we that's why we have tracking. Uh, uh, Trackers down at the bottom, so you can you can tell what what our runners have as far as coins, and and this is still pretty close here. Yoko has also we got cool. Star Song. Yo, do we? We do. Nice. Of course, we only get to joy for a minute before the uh, pick show up. Well, that's all right. On his, uh, oh, dear points on the chat. Take a look at Slash's kill count. Yeah, 99. That's, He's got himself that's, in perfect position. That's, yeah, that's exactly where he wants to be. And, uh, uh Yoko having a 97. So, we'll see. Uh, there are more levels for Yoko, uh, so. We'll see. Oh. Nope, Yoko, Yoko using oh. that, uh. To get an extra star now. Yeah. Unfortunately, he really didn't have much choice. There was no way he was going to get to Wario's castle before that counter hit 100. So he was kind of stuck with that. Uh, he could have been a little more judicious, but yeah, uh, possibly. I mean, he, we might see him just try to kill a ton of enemies now. Um, but yeah, that is the sixth coin there for Slash. And the door is open. We're going to see what we get with Rario running at the top of the castle there. Oh, and it looks like standard physics, so that's going to be helpful. Yeah, and a very, very generous carrot at the beginning. That makes this incredibly easy. Look at those giant fireballs coming out of the yeah. small piranha statues. Yeah, that is... The the carrot combined with regular physics is exactly what Slash wanted to see. That's incredibly generous. Absolutely. All right, playing a little bit safe there, keeping his bunny ears. Um, okay, what is yeah. Yoko doing? Uh, he has paused, and I'm not sure. Oh no! No! Oh, ho, ho.
Thankfully, he will get that early carrot, so he'll be able to just jump right back into this without too much trouble. Wario's yeah, Castle, great equalizer. And this is this is the setup that Slash wanted to see, but uh, Wario's Castle is still no joke. It is definitely the hardest level in the game, so you've got to approach it like that. That's because I'm Wario. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you know, like the, I remember the commercials for this game. Oh God! It was it was all about Wario. Wario was was all in the commercials. Oh, not again! Slash, Slash does it again. Oh man, that is that is real unfortunate. Uh, oh no! Why are you going to keep killing me? <laughs> Uh, I think good. I found my my new gimmick for this for these particular randomizers. My impressions. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> uh, in that time I think it was an intentional death because he lost his uh carrot there. Uh, possibly. He definitely wants to hold on to that carrot. And the way he's been approaching even the stairwell, uh, the first stairwell, he's taking a little bit slow, and he wants to keep that carrot. And if he keeps it past that first stairwell, he should be able to keep it all the way through. Uh, through the third floor uh, and all the way on to Wario. Oh no, Yoko going for the secret exit. That's where he wanted to be, but uh, dying just at the end there. That's. I, I think he ran. I think he didn't have a power up, so he had to. Yeah. He had to kill himself there. Yeah, so he needs to be big in order to spin, uh, jump, and uh, break those two blocks covering the uh, the tube. That's where he wants to be. That will get him to the space zone. Yeah. Also, I got a uh, shout out to Busmaster and four five four nine in the chat. Obey Wario, destroy Mario. Yeah, that might be Super Mario Land three uh, from the commercial. No, that would be two if he was benching War uh, Mario, because in mm. three he was by himself. Yeah, that's true. He was by himself. Yeah, he had to, he had to, he had to get a ton of coins so he could build a castle of his own after after Mario Land 2. Mario took his own castle back. <laughs> Cause this I'm not gonna is lie. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. I'm not gonna lie. I prefer Mar I prefer Wario Land, Mario Land 3 over Mario Land 2. And I don't say eh. that lightly because both these games are good, but I kinda like the gameplay of Mario of Wario Land better. Yeah, I liked his uh his dash. And then uh he like he ate garlic and whatnot. I don't know. Oh, perfect timing for that star, man. He's going to blaze through these mini bosses. Yeah, that's exactly, this is exactly where he wanted it. And it, just, and it works yeah. out perfectly. Yep. And he gets a and fire flower. This is a really, really generous Wario's castle. Yeah, I think he's going to be in perfect position now. Yeah, he's going to abuse the throne and Wario 1 is down. Meanwhile, Yoko making it into the space zone. Let's see if he gets a setup here on uh, the Mario statue here. Get Wario to drop. Nope, not quite. No, but he gets another quick kill there, sacrificing his firepower in the process. Process. Yeah. Oh, and skipping that one uh, says, "I, I'm, I'm good with the big." Gotta love his that grin on War on Wario's face, but. Yeah, absolutely. Um, wow. And slash Infinity finishing with an official SRL time of 40 minutes and 9 seconds. Oh, GG's. That is... Uh, that's pretty good time. That was really good, actually. Yeah, I mean, there have been some, some, sub, some sub 40 times, but uh, that, that's, that's a, that's a, this is a pretty good time. This this seed wasn't wasn't particularly nice to the runners either. So, no, we got Slash joining us here in the channel. Congratulations on your win! Thank yeah, you. Man. What uh, what do you think about this uh, this particular seed? I don't think it was that bad. I think uh, I think I played okay. Uh, I think I was a big dummy in the castle. Well, uh, your uh, your game has said next time try beast mode. So it's uh, <laughs> it's couple weeks. Mode. Couple weeks. <laughs> yeah.
See, yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, beast mode is a whole nother. It's a whole nother can of worms right there. Yeah. It's, it's different this season, too, since I changed it since season one. Oh, my. Yeah, there are no midway bells. Uh, what else? Uh, what else did you take? That away? was that was it, really. I took away the okay. midways and replaced them with enemies. Mm. Oh, that's oh, evil. Re replaced with enemies. Yeah, that's cute. Yeah, at first I tried to just take away the midways and replace them with nothing, and uh, it kind of screwed things up. I was like, ah, just put enemies in the place instead. Oh man, not even like a power up or anything. Just here's oh, an that, enemy. That's baby mode. <laughs> well, I played this game as a kid. There's a tagline for you. No, I uh, I thought I played fairly well. I, I my my strategy going in was uh, whenever I I was coming up to dual exits, if I had the right power up, uh, I was just gonna go for it, and uh, I was just gonna go yeah. for the fastest one at the time. So that's what I did. Uh, I do well, a couple wrong ones, but you know, no, no, it was not like they were auto scrollers or different physics that made me lose a whole bunch of time. Yeah, uh, I mean, Yoko made a lot of the same choices you did too, so um, just uh, some of the some of the levels like in the pumpkin zone or whatever gave Yoko a little bit harder time. Uh, so, they're, uh, they're right behind you though. Actually, they're a whole two coins behind right now. Yeah, Yoko's finishing up... Um, Space Zone has two two levels left here. What's with the alphabet at the end here? It's the I alphabet think I've song. That before. That's part right. of Ice Plug Sings. It's one of his songs. Ah. Oh. A B C, A B C D E F G. Oh, if Yoko's right. in the tree zone, I think they have the Space Zone coin. This, uh, he went the route, the, the level I did not do. So uh, this would have yeah. been a much better level than what I did. <laughs> I went to the right, and I had uh, what was, I believe, Turtle 1. So, Granted, this special level is not trivial. So, Yeah, but the special levels are, are a little bit easier than the other levels in general. So... Uh, so at this point, we're just watching Yoko finishing up here in Tree Zone. Yeah, and I think uh, he, I think he's going to be onto the castle here. <clears throat> our our tracking may may be incorrect, but we'll see that as soon as he finishes up this level here, which is the whale. Uh, so uh, I'd like to stay longer. Uh, my family will be home soon. I gotta get ready for my kid. So thank you very much uh, for everything. No problem. GG to you, then, my friend. Yeah, I'd man. Like Yoko finishing this out. Uh, wish him the best. I know he uh, he got the short end of the stick last week with uh, him and Typo having the like hardest seed we've seen in a long time. Yeah, there have been some 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 decently hard seeds. I need to go back and play. Uh, what him and Typo had last uh, last round because I didn't actually watch it, so I didn't have many spoilers. Oh well, good luck Ooh. with that. All right, Yoko making through the uh, uh, the whale level here. Almost done. Almost to the end. He's up to the crow now. Yep. Yeah, that that uh, beast mode, that'll be uh, that'll be a thing. Oh, can yeah, you get the get quick it. kill? Yeah, yes, you can. Nicely done. Very nicely done. And this will show us whether he has all six coins or in our tracker is just is just. No, one. he doesn't. Yeah. Okay. He was two coins behind. Yeah. Ouch. It's uh, it's a little surprising. I excite. Remember, he was in the space zone. Maybe he uh, left that for a power up to come back, come come back to the tree zone, and yeah, because the unfortunate thing about the space zone is you have to beat the hippo level every time in order to get back into the space zone. So 
So you want to want to knock it out in one run? Yeah. No, he wanna... never even got to the space zone because he couldn't get past this part. Oh, that's right. Yes, he didn't have the power up. Exactly right. Yeah, I know. I remember. We were and we were talking about it because he had died right at the uh, at the pipe that he wanted to be at. Yep. Hmm. And we do have some Space Zone 2 music here for everyone to enjoy. Yeah, we didn't get enough Star Song in this uh, race, so we need to make up for that. Yeah. I, uh, I, will, I will not be singing the uh, Star Song. Uh, n no. <laughs> I will not be doing that either. Was it a Big John who did that at uh, AGDQ this year? Maybe. I don't remember who did it, but... Yeah, they were pretty good at it, so. Yeah. <laughs> I need to work with that man sometime. And our restreamer, uh, Wolfman, confirming that we are doing, he's got an OSD playing right now, so the song will change, but hey, we got Star Song out of it. I'm not complaining. All right, yes. Yoko making it over to the blocks. Woo! He finally did it. Yeah, that's right where he wanted to be. He wanted to have that big there. And now he can make it into the space zone. He's already done the other exit, so he knows that that's the exit that he needs to, needs to go through. And now he's in this uh, tree zone level here. So the question is, does he go to the uh, secret exit, uh, or does he, does he do the normal exit? Now, the normal exit is the exit that he wants. And that's something else with this game, is that you do have to remember where all the exits are. Which is uh, uh, not trivial for some levels. Like that one that we just saw, actually. That exit's uh, not easy to remember where it is. And the secret exit for this level is actually down uh, right where uh, Yoko just passed. You drop down in that goo like an infinite distance. So it looks like he's actually going to be used doing the normal exit here. Which I believe is, if I remember correctly from when Slash did this, the exit that he wants. So this will benefit him. Going to grab that one up because he's going to need all the lives he can get. Thankfully he's got a good compliment. 18 lives should yeah. be enough to last for the rest of the race. Yeah, he's been grabbing one ups like uh, left and right. Every time there has been one, he's been he's grabbed it. Oh, and the normal exit is the special exit. And okay, this is not the level that he wants to do, but it looks like he's going to go ahead and finish this level anyway. I think he's trying to hold on to his power up. Yeah, that's that's reasonable. I mean, he's he knows Slash is already done, so I guess at this point, if if he wants his power up, uh, yeah, this oh, is, is this is yeah, this is a level where super jumps are are al almost required to make it through here, and oh, he keeps cutting those jumps so close. Yeah, for real. Oh. Ah, ah. No, he can't. He can't get. And that's. That, no, that screw is. Uh -oh. oh, look at the save! Ah. Whoa. No! Yeah. He was throwing so good! Yeah, oh, oh no. Oh. Just go ahead and reset, dude. You already yeah, lost at this, it. At this point in time, I think, I think resetting is the. Reset is the call. Yeah. Nope. All right. Well, he's dead now, and he'll he'll be taken out of the level. So he can go back here, and this is where he wants to be. He needs that. He needs to go down that. Um, basically, I don't know whatever it is the goo, and fall all the way down to the bottom to get to the secret exit. I wonder if Yoko might not be familiar with all of the secret exits, and that's why he's pausing. I think so. I think he's trying to figure out what he needs to do. Yeah. That would be unfortunate. 
Like I said, it is certainly not trivial to remember where all the exits are. Uh, at least he got his uh, life back. Yeah. Yeah, there's a there's a power up here too that he can grab. We saw him. We saw. Uh, oh, there no! oh, man. Wolfman pointing on the chat. The secret extra for this level requires hopping on the enemy near the end and getting into the top right section. Mm hmm. Oh. Yes. That's right. Maybe I'm remembering something else, but there is a there is a, a thing down the bottom. In the, whatever that goo is, it's the jello. Right down, right here. You can float down here, but there is a pipe at the end that that Wolfman's talking about. Yeah, man. Not trivial to remember where all the exits are in this game. And there's not even, like, this is a short Mario comparatively. Yeah, right here. This is, this is it. This, the pipe is right up there. Oh! Yeah, that, that actually takes you up. That pipe is one way up. I think if he, he's already completed this, so if he, uh, actually, uh, if he had, uh, start selected, he could, uh, cut, cut out of the level, and, uh, um, oh no, he's missed his opportunity to jam the carrot, and he's gonna, he's gonna get the three up. If he had jammed the uh, the A button on this, he would have gotten the carrot. Guaranteed. Has, has Yoko forfeit? Looks like Yoko has forfeit. All right, well, that's going to do it for uh, this match here with uh, Slash Infinity taking the win at 40 minutes and 9 seconds. Unfortunate that uh, Yoko didn't was unable to finish there. So thank you all for coming out and watching this uh, here race for the Super Mario Land 2 randomizer. I want to thank my co-commentator Shades. And uh, I am Cerberoth. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs>